in the previous videos, I've already showed you how to uh, pound up a, a nut meat and light a fire with that, use that as a fire assistive uh, device. And I've already showed you how to create a quasi Vaseline soaked cotton ball using a nut mead and uh, cotton fibers from a bit of clothing from a sock. Uh, what we're gonna do in this version is we're going to use some natural fibers. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the natural fibers essentially that we did in part two of this fire hack series. Um, what I'm gonna be using right now is dogbane, uh, which is a plant that grows in various sizes all over the U.S. Uh, these are a couple of dried dogbane stalks. Uh, dogbane is really good because it can be found uh, in this form virtually any time of year, and it has all the components you need to it. Uh, it's not something most novices would think of as a go-to plant for starting a fire. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a dogbane stalk and crush it. And you can see it contains some really tough fibers in there. And after I've crushed the stalk, I'm gonna process this out uh, not quite as finely as what you need for, for cordage, but I'm going to split the stalk open and remove the pithy center. What I want to collect is this outer bark off this dog bane. Now, when you get your fire going, you may be tempted to use these bits that uh, that you've broken off as uh, further tender additive for your fire, but they really don't burn really well, so uh, I, I don't advise that using those. Just go ahead and discard them and get them out of the way. Um, they're not gonna be a good fuel source for you, for kindling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dog bane fibers just kind of fold them up and buff them together between our fingers and you'll see that the fibers will begin to separate. After they've begun to separate a little bit, what I'm going to do is just take the fibers and pound on them just like I did in the previous videos to get the fibers all nice and, and pounded fine and separated. So. Shred these down really, really fine. See how these are starting to pull apart nicely. Doesn't have to be as fine as what you do, what how you would process them for cordage. You don't have to be near as meticulous, but what you want to do is really break these fibers down, uh, just like you did with the with the uh, cotton sock in the in the uh, previous video.
break this apart in two bundles so we can do a side-by-side -side burning comparison just like we did in the previous video. Got two bundles, just about equal size. This bundle we're going to set aside. This bundle, as in the previous video, we're going to take about two-thirds of it and we're going to add a little bit of nut meat material into it. And this is like half a pecan. I'm going to squash it down. Pecans are the bacon of the nut world. They're amazing. Resist the urge to eat them. This will keep you alive long. Once I have my nut meat kind of mashed, I'm going to put my dog bane on there and pound it up. Nice and pounded, saturated in nicely. And work that up into a pile. One, two. Now the interesting thing about dog bane are the little seed pods that come off of them. You see these. Uh, See these little seed pods, they occur in pairs. And these seed pods, uh, if you're lucky enough to find some still on there, um, these have uh, our fuzzy sock material in them. You can see as I squeeze that seed pod together and open it up, you can see all that nice fuzz that comes out of there. Now the problem with this fuzz is it'll burn exceedingly rapidly. It'll burn so fast that it won't transfer enough heat to the pile to get it to ignite. So you don't want to simply light this. I want to roll it down into a nice little fuzzy bit here. But I want to compact those fibers just a bit, just like that. That gives me a spot for our ferro striker to for the sparks to catch. And I'm going to put a little cap on it, like so. And then I've got another pod I've pre-prepared that I've done the same thing with. I'll see if I can get them to light at the same time. Put just a little more in the middle and I'll try to light them both simultaneously. This bundle I'm going to put in the middle, but I'm going to make it not near as fuzzy as the other two. I mean a little bit fuzzier, not near as compact is what I meant to say. I'll pack that right in the middle and we'll light them both at the same time. And we'll put the clock back up there and see how long it'll go for. Hopefully we'll be successful. Let's give it a try.
I think you'll agree there is a distinct benefit to the one that the nut meat has been added to versus the one that was just plain. Now we've done this with inner bark fibers from trees, we've done it with all sorts of different materials and your results are pretty much always the same thing. Join us in part four where we're gonna put the two techniques together using our natural tinder bundle and our uh, ferro striker to light our nut candle. So this is the way you would light a nut candle um, with a ferro striker to start a fire. See you then.